Hmm, I gotta get this thing out of the way. Geological survey vehicle. Power up digger. Okay. Oh, really? You can't? You're... Oh, all right, fine. Leave the battery plugged in. Fingers crossed there is an oxygen charge thing. I hope to God he's in the habitat. You know what? I'm charging oxygen right now. No chances. Because there was a, some note about a busted oxygen tube in one of these things. I can't remember which one it was. much better. It's a long walk up there. Huh, a footprints. Please have power. Yes. The elevator seems to be malfunctioning. Great. If it was a dream, then why is my scar still warm? Because it wasn't a dream. Ha 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 ha. Must have slipped into one of those pocket realities. Okay, one stack of rocks, fine. This, though, Declan is either really bored or somebody. Uh, I don't know. It, Let's just hope he has too much time on his hands. Oh, man. Yeah. He has a lot of rock stacking. Call the elevator. See what happens. Boosted? Busted, okay. Those moons are up there. Staring at me. And what happened in this place? Just a little quake or something more?
More rock stacks. Something's been busy. Yes, we take off our suit. Please change atmosphere before proceeding. Uh, uh, <coughs> <laughs> I, I forgot again. Oh, I'm a good, I would make a great astronaut, wouldn't I? That's super. It's like there was a second, I was like, please, oh, wait, 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 I forgot. I forgot my, uh, God, I can't breathe here. Declan, you here? Declan, it's empty. Declan, damn it, where are you? Look, don't freak out. Just find out where he is. Shit, this is bad. I'm sorry, Declan. I didn't know how bad it was. He can't stay alone out here anymore. He Declan, help. right of your fantastic adventures. Dave gave, Dad gave this to me. We had this little uh, 12 by 10 by 10 case of personal effects that we could seal up before launch. I almost left this behind, but it helps to write sometimes. Not sure why lying brothers, lying bothers me so much. My dad and my sister, they think I'm freezing my ass off for climate studies in Antarctica. I don't know about fantastic adventures, father dearest, father dearest, but last night I dreamed I was one of those celebrity dance shows. My partner was Catherine Hepburn and we won even though she was obviously dead. It was great. Then I woke up, wrote down numbers from space for six hours, drilled a tiny hole into 17 rocks, all while be being a single reinforced pane of glass away from death. It's a real roller coaster here on Mars. This place it shows he was right. Jesus, I didn't know it was like this. How does he live like this? So are they all separate out here? What do they got went nuts? Oh, let's see. Declan Delafour daily log. Slight fluctuation in array rotation during calibration. Diagnostics for self-clean systems require filter replacement. Slight dip in power to non-critical systems due to solar array generator at 94. EVA to recent rock slide at heavy transporter elevator. Estimate to clear and assess. Three days. Emergency protocol. Something's wrong with the dish. Circuit board shorted. No prior warning. Just sparks flying mid transmission. Yeah, it was a sandstorm, but we've never seen a blackout like that. Circuits fried while I'm sitting here. Had to manually reboot backup generator servers. Should have automatically engaged. I don't know. New to do, I guess. Temporarily reroute circuit boxes. Run a bio gauge scan and manually calibrate satellite dish. Where is Shane? All personnel, due to a recent sandstorm, a servo malfunction caused site-wide communications to be down for several hours. Backup servers have been activated and will function as new primary communication network. Although at significantly reduced intensity and radius, Chief Engineer Shane Newhart has been informed of the damage and has tasked with repairs, circuitry repairs. Until then, expect intermittent comms interruptions while the network is reestablished. Thank you, understanding management. She sent calm log. Note for Shane. Shane, where are you? If you see this, we're headed back to base. We waited. You were nowhere. I'm with uh, Josie and Lucas. We're taking over back. We lost contact. For a second, your rover coordinates appear. Suddenly, the satellite goes nuts. I don't know if it's a freak sandstorm or what. Doesn't matter. Back to base. Contact us. What you can do, just hope you see this, Declan. So they went back to base. Do I yoink this power cell? Maybe I do. Okay, let's head up to the dish. Twice I pulled my helmet off. 
inside the airlock without pressurizing. Hopefully this elevator is working. Okay, good. I'm glad we took the power cell. I feel like we should need more power cells here on Mars. Mars needs power cells. Doing good, Chief. Don't look down. No, oh, I'm looking down. Whoa, what is that? Holy shit! No, 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 no. Oh my god, please just be a meteor. Oh my god. What was it? Is the rocket supposed to be landing today? It was not the Calypso rocket, was it? Pressurized, there we go. Always important. For power cells. Nice view, though. All right, so we can power this thing on. Get in touch with somebody out there. Ah, burning plastic. Definitely a short in the system. Power conduit. In case of emergencies, connect to device to reroute power between units. I need to find a way to reroute power around the damaged nodes. Oh, uh, what is a damaged node? Or is it just a break between the things? How's this working? all three of these this panel distributes power between the dish and the PC terminal and that busted node means I can only power one of them at a time it says falling apart around me uh, I guess let's do PC first and then a dish I think dish is our final objective uh, I don't know which is which though. Right, PC online. Shane goes missing, lost contact with the uh, Serrano. Uh oh, then circuit boxes started going haywire. Just pull enough power to turn the dish to uh, Josie and get some sort of signal. Then it all resets. What a beautiful day on Mars.
Calibration must be performed manually via bio gauge after security authorization. Uh, okay. So we need to route this back up somehow. This circuit box is amping up the current. Too much power will fry the system. Too little, and the dish won't work. Oh, so we need to get three. All right, so we got three coming in. We need to get nine to the system. God. She can't make this easy. Let's see, one, two, it's five, six, seven. It's going to be too much, isn't it? So we need nine. So ideally two threes or... That's too much. That's not actually, that's not enough. All right. Oh, no. All right, let's try this. <laughs> Sandstorm's picking up again. Things just keep getting worse. It's getting really bad out there. Gotta pick up the pace, Shane. Let's see how much signal we can get. B9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Four? It's like 24. Here we go. Wait. One's me two. Seventy-seven. As much as we're gonna get. Still no signal. Great, now I'm not getting anything. So we got to 77. Calibration required. I'm missing here. There was some note about it. I should have read all those freaking details in the thing. Oh, 
All right, so I've got to go. Powered up. I hope I'm not too late. The target signal cannot be followed. For example, due to on due to going on the horizon, the Angelus will need to be manually calibrated and the signal is available. The signal should be made at 85% or above. A lower signal may result. Eighty-five or above. So reminder, I'm sure Richie will find out I'm breaking encryption rules, but I can never remember the constantly changing code schedule. Our glorious leaders, Palm Relay, Contact Base, Chatterbox. So Chatterbox is 158.43. That ain't it. Okay, that's not the right one. Oh, maybe I need to... Let's try this. Can't help those codes in the thing are. All right, so that ain't it. Is negative, interesting. So with a harpsen signal, new the radio is busted. All right, I need to take like a picture of these things with my phone or something.
So Chatterbox should... Oh, I, I didn't see the dash. So the freaking remember these. So that's not working. All right, so. I thought Chatterbox was the. All right, so let's try. Sixty-one. All right, weird stuff. All right, some marble. It's at twelve seventy-eight. That down that low, interesting. Crash by Doggos, what are you barking at, huh? All right, negative fifty six. That's not it. Chatterbox is only got full single strength on, but it did not. Uh... All right, let's put it back to Chatterbox. Negative one fifty-eight. Three three. Wilcox, where are you? Something. Newhart? Do you copy? There is a creature roaming Trailblazer Alpha. Do not return to base. Repeat, do not. I can't hear you. You're coming out. We are at base. We need to investigate the Cyrano crash site. No, 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 no. Commander Wilcox! Wilcox! 
Please contact a qualified associate. Get back to the rover. Ooh. Yeah, that was weird. It's like I didn't, I just wasn't hitting the right button. It's not clear what I, I hit the T button for broadcast. I guess I need to hit the T and then I need to click the mouse to activate it. That was weird. Weird and annoying. Okay. All right, let's get back to the rover and then we'll call it for today. All right, let Come me on. refill air. Dead. Not even static. No, Siri, I don't. Yes. Someone is alive. It's not the weather on Mars, though, which I'm more concerned about. Beings from dust. No, no, go down. What the hell? Oh shit! Looks like the only way down is to jump. This is gonna hurt. Seriously? Ah! God damn it! Couldn't jump into the sand or something? Ha, okay, you can stay up there. Nope, nope, nope. Get down this ladder. I like how half of my info gauge is taken up by the giant company logo. Good job, guys. Oh, uh, so that's collapse now. Air refill. Don't mind if I do. No power, missing cell. Wait, I took my freaking power cell. game. I know I can fit through there. <laughs> oh. The, uh, that's a long way down, man. I guess gravity, I guess you'd weigh less on Mars. Didn't think about that. So I feel like my ankle should be should be push. Ah, must get back to Rover. How about Nope, okay. Ha! No, oh, jeez. Oh, no. I was gonna... Get off of me! What? Here, I know I did. What are you in my car? Huh, okay, okay. awkward. I was gonna lower the thing. The uh cargo thing. Apparently he was just teleports through that. Oh, 
Mind. What the fuck is going on? Running faster burns my O2. <laughs> maybe we gotta. Ah, oh, God, jeez. Okay, so maybe you do have to run. You're fine. Won't conserve, you know, oxygen. <laughs> Trying to be safe. Trying to be smart. Apparently not. Oh, I should have looked behind me. I didn't think that he was. Oh, I could back up here, this stupid thing. Okay. I just gonna pop out of anywhere and grab me? What the fuck is going on? Great. Easy. I just remember who there moved that rover. Lower faster, please. Oxygen. Step on gas. Holy oh crap, you can really see in this dust storm. Ooh. Well, that was kind of weird. I don't know how I got grabbed by that one halfway through there. The like looming Shane? threat. Oh, shit. Shane, you're all right. Fuck. First good news in a while. Declan, there is something at the base. It's some kind of alien. A, a monster. We know. Lucas said it had something to do with Volkova's research, so I don't think we can claim credit for discovering aliens. You saw it? Shane, we got emergencies upon emergencies right now. The Cyrano fell out of the sky like a rock. Oh, my God. I didn't want to believe it. I'm with Josie and the Meerkat heading out to the crash site to look for survivors. Lucas volunteered to stay behind at the base, but it's in really bad shape, man. The mangrove tree? Its roots are everywhere. Taking over. All right. What can I do? Lucas said he had a pretty good idea what happened and a way to stop it at the source. Find Lucas and help him. He should be in the research lab. I'm glad you're all right, man. Please. Stay that way. Okay. Whew. I 
as well top this off just in case I have to run out of here. Holy oh. shit, the whole base is infected. Okay. Lucas. Lucas. Of course no response. All right, chat. I think we're going to have to find Lucas tomorrow. Crap, these things. You're very close. You are very close. All right, I'm going to pause there <laughs> before I get. Uh, this reminds me a bit of a what? Uh, what can I can think of that movie. Uh, not Resident Evil. Evil Dead. There we go. That other evil. Uh, all right. Well, this game's okay. Not not amazing. Pretty good. Some of the uh, interactions are a bit clunky, but. Yeah, so far so good. All right, so I'm gonna take off. Plan for this week is to finish this, and then I think I wanna do, wanna do uh, Hellblade, it's the newest sacrifice. These are just some of these old spooky games that are in my Steam library for a while. I wanna get through them, check them off the list. You can stop staring at me, forlornly. So I think we'll do Hellblade next after this. I think that'll be more sort of psychological horror, less uh, kind of like monsters and things like that. But uh, still should be fun. It's supposedly a pretty good game. Anyway, chat, I'm going to take off. Have a wonderful day. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow, 8 a.m. Eastern, for more spooky stuff this October. And we're just going to cram as many of these games in as we can this month before we get back to other things. So have a wonderful day. Be safe, be good to each other, and I will see you all tomorrow.